Our focus on artificial intelligence. On the hot seat today, we put the spotlight on Minus Zero. Founded in 2021, the venture claims it is India's first startup building foundational AI models for autonomous driving, delivered as an industry first intelligent platform to automotive OEMs, enabling autopilot and self driving capabilities for next gen vehicles. Having demonstrated its autonomous concept vehicle, the Z Pod, last year, Minus Zero is backed by Chirate Ventures and other leading investors. Investors. To talk to us about the road ahead, joining me now is Gursimran Kalra, the co-founder and COO of Minus Zero. Gursimran, welcome to Startup Street. You say you are a pioneering nature-inspired AI. First, tell us what you mean by that. And then if you could also talk to us about Minus Zero's innovations and the various use cases they have. Hey, thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, so talking about nature-inspired AI, so basically it's, it's a completely paradigm shift over here in AI that we are seeing. So in simple words, we are trying to take inspiration from human brain to design our artificial intelligence systems. So just to give you some more parallel and insights into it, right now, whatever AI that we are seeing in the world used at scale or whatever the chat GPT and everything that you're seeing right now, you've seen they, they are very human-like and they'll talk to you in a very human-like manner. It's just that they have been trained on large and large amounts of data that they have collected, that the companies have collected over a long period of time. And it just has crammed it so beautifully that it is able to give you answers and reasoning and everything in a human-like manner. But if you go in deeper into it, you will understand that it does not have any intelligence of its own. Plus, it requires a lot of compute, uh, computing power to actually make it run very efficiently. So what, as uh, on the other hand, as humans, we do not require entire internet of data just to talk to you properly, right? And we do not have like billions and billions of dollars spent in our compute server or in the brain that we have to actually work and process, right? We have a very small computing power that's our brain and very small amount of data that we get over our experience that, that we actually process. So that's what Nature Inspired AI tries to do, learning from limited amount of data and okay. limited amount of computing power to make it more intelligent. So okay. that's that's what we are doing. Gursun, let's now talk about your autonomous driving concept vehicle, the Z-Pod or the Z-Pod that you've demonstrated in June last year. It showed full autonomy in a campus-like environment using only cameras. What is the biggest pain point that it solves and what kind of partnerships are you eyeing for this technology? Are you in talks with educational campuses? Yeah, sure. So basically, the Z-Pod that we show was a great concept to showcase how about the vision of, of how we imagine the mobility could be in the in the future. It makes mobility more efficient, more safer, more sustainable, and accessible to everyone and everywhere in the in the world. So that's the that's the dream that we have and the vision that we have with with a Z Z-Pod that we showcase. Now uh, talking about uh, partnerships. So we we are not directly manufacturing these Z Pods in house over here at Minus Zero. We are basically giving this as a technology platform, which all the other automakers. Yeah. Uh, established automakers can introduce their into their vehicles. So that's what you know we are doing oh. right now. All right. So let's also talk about your recent alliance with Ashok Leyland. Uh, the long-term partnership aims to revolutionize commercial trucking through the deployment of autonomous solutions at scale. If you could elaborate yeah. on what this collaboration entails, what is the initial focus, and then the larger vision? Yeah, sure. So basically, if you, if you see this this larger vision, I'm really happy to see the legacy automakers. Uh, are partnering with innovative startups like us to carry forward the innovation. So the larger picture of this partnership is to actually start deploying autonomous vehicles in multiple different areas, starting initially from uh, constrained environments like campuses, uh, airports, seaports, corporate tech parks, and all of these different campuses, and eventually moving on to public roads as well in the areas where there are proper regulations laid down for that. So this is a very holistic partnership that we are laying down with one of the uh, legacy automakers and we sure. we hope that we take it forward from here. Okay, Gursimran, can you also throw some light on the long-term R&D costs associated with this kind of a project? Interesting. So if you see uh, autonomous vehicle as a whole industry, uh, hmm. you'll see that uh, this is one of the largest industries who have seen uh, the largest amount of R&D capital investment into it. So companies have spent close to $100 billion into R&D of, of building autonomous driving. But essentially what we are trying to do is, you know, completely re-innovate the entire system using our nature-inspired AI. And we believe that this, this should not be the given cost of, of, you know, entering into solving such a gigantic problem statement. 
So okay. once the founder told me that you know if you cannot build a deep tech or research based business in less than hundred million dollars, so you don't know what what your product is or you don't know what the technology is. All I right. think I think. Okay, you know, with global regulations and infrastructure evolving to support autonomous driving, Gursimran, will this collaboration extend to offer joint production offerings, uh, joint product offerings to international markets? If yes, then how soon and in which markets? Yes, sure. That's that's definitely a possibility on the table that that we you know we are looking at it. But uh, how soon and how which market should be? I yeah. I don't think I'll be able to comment on right now. But there are multiple different markets that are coming up with. um very progressive regulations in multiple different countries and i and i believe that the world is actually moving at a very right pace to you know adopt these vehicles so we will target some of these markets who have progressive regulations in them okay let's talk about your future plans i believe you want to focus on further advancing your proprietary technologies nature inspired ai and true vision autonomy to explore various opportunities including collaborations with oems for growth again yeah. elaborate on your growth plans and offerings in the pipeline and also the revenue targets uh, what is the road to profitability looking like sure so basically at minus zero we take a lot of pride in the in the ai research that that we are doing over here and being one of the only few companies in india who is doing foundational ai research so we'd like to carry on that and you know building foundational models from scratch over here in india for the use case of autonomous driving so i think i think we'll definitely grow on that further we'll also be talking about and uh, launching much more partnerships that are that are already in the table that we are we are talking to that that is definitely a plan and you know seeing how these legacy automakers can introduce new features with with our mm. ai based technology so that's that's what we are looking at and talking about revenue and profitability this is a very giant market that that we are working in even even a single product launch uh, could could yield multi billion dollars in revenue in in a very few years of time so i think i think that's a that's a great market that you know sure. we, we have tapped into and we will definitely see the fruits of it in future All right. On that note, it's time for me to wrap up our conversation. Many thanks, Guru Simran, for joining us here today, and wish you the very best for all your growth plans. Thank you so much for having me.